Hello, welcome to Tower Talk Topics. Today I wanted to talk about uh, reading and how to talk about reading. Well, reading and writing, but mainly reading. Uh, the reason is I, I realized there's certain vocabulary that we use specifically for talking about reading and I, I haven't really done anything about that. So some of this may be easy, maybe not i don't know uh let's check so here's some key vocabulary for talking about reading all right how to talk about reading okay so first of all a letter a letter take me no a letter is a b c d e f g right you know that right a b c okay put letters together they make a word hello has one two three four five letters it is hello okay easy right a sentence when you put the letters together and put a full stop this is a sentence, that's an example, okay? Um, I think you know, everybody knows those. The next one, a paragraph. A paragraph is when you have many sentences together and they form like here, here. On this page, you can see that's one paragraph, that's a paragraph, that's a very short paragraph, there's another paragraph. Uh, usually it's more than one sentence, but sometimes you can have a one sentence paragraph. The reason we do this in English is the same reason we put spaces between words. It's just so difficult to read a book that has no paragraphs. I was reading a book recently that had zero paragraphs and it's just like, bah. it's tiring, tiring to the eye for English speakers. I don't know about Japanese. Uh, okay, so that's a paragraph. Okay, then you've got a page. I think we all know a page, first page, second page, third page. And when you put a lot of pages together, you make a chapter. Chapter one, chapter two, I think we all know that. I've got another book here that's got the chapters. Look, there's chapter 20. Let's just go there. And so um, novels have lots of chapters. Or any kind of book usually is split into chapters. Right, easy, right? Okay, what else? Um, a title, that's what we call can you see the title here is not Henning Mankell. The title here is Before the Frost. That's the name of this novel. Or here, this one's bigger, Almost Blue is the title uh, when you're talking about a book, uh, fiction and nonfiction. Um, if you're talking about a newspaper, we don't say titles, we say headlines. Here's a headline, here's a headline. Uh, what does it say? U.S. stocks are soaring, so is misery. A party enmeshed in theory of Lurie, blah, 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 blah. These are headlines. By the way, this is called the masthead, like a, a ship, the mast. Masthead is the name of the newspaper. This is New York Times. Don't worry about it. Headlines. So headlines are only for newspapers, magazines, and the internet. So news programs talk about headlines. Titles are for books. What's the title of your favorite book? Okay, so we've got a title, what well, we've got a title, headline, article, uh, that's the story. Here's, here's an article, here's another article. On this front page, there are only one, two, three, four, four articles on this, four stories. You can say story. What's the difference between a story and an article? Um, an article is, is always non-fiction. And a story can be non-fiction or, or fiction, usually fiction. Um, yes, uh, what was I saying? Ah, okay, yeah, so, so we've got an article. In a newspaper, it's articles. Now, author or writer, um, kind of is the same kind of thing. He is an author is uh, Carlo Lucarelli. Lucarelli is an Italian author. Is, uh, Henning Mankel is the, uh, is the author of this book. So author, or you can say writer. We usually say writer for shorter things. Author is for books, write, writer for, sh for articles. Not always, you could call them a writer. Uh, author has a posher sounding sounds more impressive writer sounds like a job author sounds like a great profession but they basically they're the same thing really um okay author and a writer okay literature literature means any kind of writing 
literate means you can read and write. So literature, uh, anything can be literature, but usually it means books. And um, we study literature in university. Uh, maybe this isn't considered great literature. This is a, a detective novel, short novel. So that kind of low class literature. This is just a book. Literature would be Shakespeare or something f fancier. But I don't know. Uh, you'll sometimes see that word literature, things that you are written. Um, okay, so we've got a story, so it's usually fiction, although it can be a newspaper story. Um, and we have short stories. If you have a very long story, it's a novel book. So where is my book? <laughs> oh yeah, this is a long novel. Look how thick that is. Wow, that's a novel. This is also a novel. This is a short novel. Uh, it's not a short story. A short story would be much shorter. You could read in 20 minutes. Okay, right. Now, if you're talking about literature and fiction, we have characters. Characters are the famous, are the, not famous, uh, are the people in here, in the story. So this one has a character, I forget his name. Uh, well, for example, Sherlock Holmes is a character. Uh, the author is Arthur Conan Doyle. A plot, plot is the story or what happens first. Uh, the hero opened the door and then he saw a crime and then he was chasing the baddies. That's the plot. What happens is the plot. Always for uh, fiction. Um, another, some other words here. Script or screenplay. Script is for a play on stage. So, so you'd have a Shakespeare and if you practice the script. The difference screenplay is just when it's a script for the movies. That's called a screenplay. Um, and if you're in a play, you have to learn your lines. They're called lines. The lines that you have to, the words that you have to remember. If you're doing a, if you're doing Romeo and Juliet, Romeo, Romeo, wherefore art thou Romeo? That's a line from Shakespeare. And if you're doing a Shakespeare show, you have to learn your lines. Ooh, okay. Oh, I'm showing you the questions. Didn't want to. Okay, down here's fiction and non-fiction. I use those two terms. Fiction is stories, not true. Non-fiction, articles, uh, scientific books, uh, true things that are not stories. So that's the division, fiction, non-fiction. Okay, let's do some questions. I got three sample questions. Let's have a go. Number one, do you prefer fiction or non-fiction? Why? I don't know. What do you think? Number two, what's the best book you've read recently or in your life, if it's been a long time? Can you think of a best book or something that you remember? Number three, is reading important? Why? Are people reading less today? People often say, oh, young people, they're not reading. Is that true? Or are they just reading something different? I don't know. Okay, I want to hear what you have to say. And uh, we'll talk about reading. Thank you very much. See you soon.